Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today, we're gonna to be customizing the BF Bifta in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's an interesting car. I don't know that I've ever driven this thing. Maybe if I have, it was probably back in like 2014, 2013 when the game first actually came out. I think this is one of the first DLC vehicles in the game. I'm interested to try this thing out. Let's get into it. All right guys, starting off with the armor, we're gonna go all the way up on that, of course. For the brakes, all the way up as well. For the chassis, you can do a racing harness. Yeah, we'll do that, why not? That's a little uh, cool detail that you can add to the car. Engine, all the way up, of course. The exhaust, you can do a four side exit exhaust, okay. Twin racing exhaust, or a twin bore exhaust. Let's do the twin bore, why not? For the headlights, we're gonna go xenon. For the plate, yellow on black, of course. For the respray, probably gonna go with like a, uh, a brighter color with this car. I feel like it's uh, deserving of one, maybe like a yellow or something like that. Uh, let's do a race yellow. Why not? I feel like that's a, uh, I feel like it's a fitting color for this car. All right, for the roof, we can do a hard top or we can do a hard top with a stripe. We're going to just go for the, honestly, I don't even know if I want a roof. I don't think I do. I don't want a roof. For the skirts, you can do custom skirts. I like that. Kind of hides some of the uh, mechanical look of the car. So I kind of like that. For the spoiler, we can add a carbon wing, a primary color wing, or a secondary color wing. I'm not really feeling the wing on this thing, honestly. I feel like it doesn't like look proper, but at the same time, it kind of does. I think I'm going to leave it off, though. The transmission, all the way up, of course, and the turbo. Let's add that, too. For the wheels, I feel like we should go with some off-roads for this thing. I feel like it's definitely like an off-road vehicle. Uh, let's go for the Concave Rally Master. Let's go black on those. For the tire enhancements, we'll go bulletproof for the tire design. I feel like it kind of works with this. Let's go for that. Why not? And of course, we don't have window tint. So that's uh, that's the BF Bifta right there. Let's take it down to the ground. We'll do a sound test and a review. All right, let's take a listen. I feel like it's got like a pretty basic sound. I do feel like it sounds pretty good for this car. Off the line, there's actually not much wheel spin at all. I'm interested to see if this thing is uh, rear wheel drive only. Okay, it is rear wheel drive only. That makes uh, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. So the acceleration uh, off the bat here seems, you know, not too bad. Definitely could be better, uh, but this is, you know, I don't even know what class this thing even is. I think it might be an off-roader. I can't really see it being a sports car, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Definitely could be faster though, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't feel terrible either. For what it is, I can't imagine an actual dune buggy being able to accelerate as quickly as this thing does. Um, I think it'd be quite scary to be in one if it did actually accelerate this fast. So, you know, there's that. The car, I feel like, is gonna spin out a lot. It just spun out there for a second. I feel like it's very, very, very light, uh, which I think is gonna be a factor in it uh, wanting to maybe spin out a little bit on these uh, on these corners up ahead here. So we're gonna we're gonna have to see that. So far, so good. It's making it around the corners without uh, too much drama. It does have a lot of understeer, but I feel like with just like a tap of the handbrake, you could probably make this thing pretty much uh, a drift machine. That being said, honestly, I don't hate the handling of it. It definitely could be better, but it also could be a lot worse. The front wheels definitely don't have uh, don't have a lot of grip. Um, the car does, I don't know, it sort of has a weird like understeer and oversteer like imbalance. I don't know, it's, it's quite, quite strange. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the on-road test, I think. Uh, let's take this thing off-road and uh, see what we can do with that. All right, guys, we're at the canyon. We're going to do a bit of an off-road test with this thing. See how well it can actually handle the off-road section here. Well, that's going well so far. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, other than the uh, the one little spin out that we had. I feel like the suspension on this car is really hard. So I feel like that's going to, yeah, kind of work against it. With that being said, though, it's honestly not that bad. It's actually pretty impressive for being... Uh, you know, a dune buggy. I was not expecting this thing to actually handle the off-road nearly as well as it is right now. Definitely could handle it a lot better, I feel like. But it's honestly... Mm, it's not that bad. We'll put it that way. If this thing was four-wheel drive, I feel like it would actually be like an off-road machine. But it is rear-wheel drive only, which I feel like is... Uh, that's probably its downfall when it comes to this off-roading. Uh, maybe it could just be my driving as well. That's always, you know, a factor too. It definitely has issues with understeer. That is, that is something that I am I am definitely noticing. Uh, but it also oversteers. It's it's a very weird, weird car. It only costs seventy five thousand dollars, so like it's not like it's a, a huge loss if you don't really like how it handles or anything. 
So for that reason, I'd recommend picking one of these things up and testing it out for yourself and seeing whether or not you actually like it. I think that's pretty much it for the customization and review today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Unlike the person in that car. Peace.